everybody. I'm the Senso Siren and I'm reviewing the Suspelio Spider-Man number three. Now, um, Doc Ock is Spider-Man. I have to admit, I don't like his character. The, I do like the cover. This book is a big old disappointment. I did not like it other than the other than the Peter Parker moments where he's seeing Doc Ock's memories and he's kind of talking to Doc Ock and there's some there's some weird about this book is like a lot of things that they're saying I don't even understand what they're saying it's like either they're printing out the wrong words or something because it just doesn't make any sense what they're saying there's a couple of lines in here that are just like what the hell is he even talking about it was like it doesn't make any sense it's like these words don't even go together and yeah so Doc Ock Spider-Man is basically facing off against the the vulture and then they have this signal for him where Jameson has one kind of like what Batman has and pretty much kind of calling him and he's like are you stupid or something this is is hopefully this is a test because now they're gonna know where I'm at the villains or whatever and then he's like yeah it's a test but that's not what he made it for so I guess so I don't know if Jameson likes this new Spider-Man but this new Spider-Man is not funny. He's kind of crappy. He has some dumb lines that he says. It's just like... And he don't even act like Peter Parker. Yeah, he tries to kill the vir the virtual. <laughs> the virtual. <laughs> the the virtue. The vulture. Damn it. Yeah, the vulture. Well, he pretty much almost does. He knocks him against... And you see that light thing. Well, the thing that... That makes that symbol, he smashes him into it, and uh, the signal, it's the spider signal, and um, and he's like, I got glass, he's all cut up, and he's beat up and stuff, and of course, Carrie, that one detective that he, that Peter Parker told her that he is the real spider man whenever he was in Doc Ock's body, and you can see, she remembers that, and she's like, after that happened, she's like, Spider-Man will never do this. He would never do this. But, of course, Doc Ock kind of talked himself out of it. And then there's a moment where Peter Parker says something. Because he's like, there's a lot of, like, little things where Doc Ock's like, she knows and all this. But then when Peter Parker says something, it's like, what the hell? It didn't make, it makes kind of, it makes sense in a way, but it's still stupid. It just, the words don't fit together. I don't know if this is a misprint or something, but there's a couple of things. It is the same thing in issue one. It's like, what the hell are they talking about? It just doesn't make any sense. I don't know why that is, but that's weird. Um, I would give this a two out of five. It, I did not enjoy it. Other than the Peter Parker moments where he's with, doing, seeing um, Doc Ock's memories and all that. But it's, that's okay, but the rest of the book, don't want it. Issue one was no good either. So, and I didn't read issue two. So, but I will be getting it soon. So that's it for me. Uh, hopefully, you liked my review. I know I messed up on the main enemy's name. It's, it's one of those names I have a hard time saying. So um, that's it for this review. And if you're interested in this book, well, check it out. But I don't like it. <laughs>